Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the X-Tool P2 Laser Engraver. This is a 55-watt CO2 laser that some say is a Glowforge killer. And I have to say, I agree, because you can make beautiful engravings like this on surfaces like this. Let's go ahead and check out the laser engraver. We'll take a look at some of the accessories and why you'll want to consider this as your laser engraver, especially if you're looking to open up a side hustle, small business, or just love engraving. Let's check it out. Now, you heard that right. This is a 55-watt CO2 laser that has a maximum speed of 600 millimeters per second when engraving. Now, it does have air assist built in, which means you're going to have clean engravings and also crispy clean cuts as well. The bed size, 26 by 14. Great size for engraving and cutting. But one thing about this is that it has a very unique pass-through feature that allows you to feed material and extend that bed size significantly. This is going to open up a whole bunch of creativity. Now, we also discussed that it has something that is super unique, and that is curved surface engraving. And you saw this example here. You notice that the curvature, and we'll put this in an angle right here so you can see this, there's a significant curvature here. And traditional laser engravers are not going to be able to handle this, especially as you start getting in some of the sides. So you notice how you have the side here and the side here, the engraving, and then you have the surface here. Well, this curved surface engraving basically is looking at this surface and moving the laser head up and down so that it could cover this area. And as you can see in this example here, it is super duper clean. All I had to do with this is just wipe it off lightly, but it really had no surface burns found. Now, this laser engraver is also going to be able to cut 20 millimeter acrylic. That's pretty thick, right? And you're also going to be able to cut 18 millimeters black walnut. So we're talking about significant materials, first of all, that are hard and difficult to cut, and it handles it like a champ. Now, to assist you with your creativity, there are some really nice features in this product. First of all, it has a panoramic uh, camera, and that panoramic camera is going to take a picture of the entire bed. So there's no guesswork when it comes to placing your images. You'll be able to see the material and the image, and you'll be able to have great precision when it comes to placing those images on your surfaces. Not only that, but it also has a close-up camera. So if you are looking for ultra precision when it comes to placing items, uh, aligning them on any surface between the panoramic camera and then the close range camera, you're going to have a precise fit. Now, we did talk about this, uh, the ability to, to engrave on curved surfaces. This will basically do a 3D scan. Literally, it's a 3D scan of the surface. And you're going to see like a mesh uh, showing you uh, the area that you can engrave. And that's used to give you that precision that you see right here. It also has batch engraving, which means you're going to have multiple objects on top of this work area, and it's going to be able to adjust itself so that it can engrave on all these items, making, again, your, I would say, the workflow that you go through super efficient. Now, for those of you who are looking to engrave, let's say, uh, anything that is cylindrical, right, it does support uh, rotary-type devices, specifically the RA2 solution that you have from Xtool. So if you combine it with this product, you're going to be able to do, you know, the different type of bottles or uh, the actual uh, coffee cups that you see a lot of folks engraving using this solution. It also has an auto lock feature and an auto release feature, which is really important for safety. So literally, as soon as you're done engraving, it takes a couple of seconds before it allows you to open the actual laser to make sure that it has expelled any kind of fumes or gases that may be enclosed in the engraver. Safety first. Talking about safety, the product also has a fire detection, uh, I would say, technology that also supports X-Tools fire safety system. What that means is that if there are excessive flare-ups or anything that could be questionable and cause damage both to you, to your home, or to the device, it's basically going to stop. And if you combine it with the X-Tool fire safety system, not only will it detect it, but if there is a flare-up, it will put it out. Super cool and super safe. Now, the last thing that I highly recommend and we have in our setup is the fact that you uh, consider getting a smoke purifier or an air purifier. We run our laser engraver um, enclosed. And obviously in Chicago, you do have a lot of seasonality. 
So having something that basically is capturing um, any of the smoke, any of the uh, odor, um, any of the pollutants that come out of this device is critical to us. So combining that with the X tool, um, again, smoke purifier or smoke eater, some people would call it, is really important. Now, it does come with a couple accessories that you're going to see in subsequent videos. It does come with a riser that you can order or an additional riser that you can order. And that's going to allow you to have that pass through feature that you're going to see in a subsequent video. In addition to that, it does have a conveyor system that allows you to put a plank of wood or piece of wood and it will move as it's going through the engraving process, which is going to, again, expand again your creativity. And again, if this is something that you're considering for a small business or a side hustle, it's just going to explode the options that you have when it comes to different type of engravings and the material that you choose. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at the, uh, at the actual P2. We're going to see it in action. You're going to see us cutting and engraving LED signs that are really popular. You're going to see us uh, with some wood examples that we have as well. And you'll get to see close up even how the software works because this software is, uh, or the solution is compatible with Lightburn. And it's also, they have their own um, X tool application. And I have to say that if you could do PowerPoint, you can engrave. It's that simple. And I've seen over the last several months, this product improving the software itself, improving over and over and over again, multiple releases. And it's a community that basically gives a lot of feedback, the Xtool community, and Xtool is listening and improving the software all the time. Now, one other product that you're going to see in this video is going to be the F1 laser engraver. I have to say that if you're looking at having the most flexibility when you're considering a small business solution like this, then having them as a pair is an incredible combo. Both of them side by side, and you'll see it in my setup, I have them both, really gives you a lot of flexibility and allows you to expand your business even further. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so here we are looking at my setup. So I have my P2 here. I have here on the side, and this is one I also highly recommend. I have here on the side, this is my F1 laser engraver. This is a Galvo-based laser, and this is the beta version, right? But it has also on the side a smoke eater, and that smoke eater uh, came with that solution as we were part of the testing group. And then over here, we have the, the P2. Now, I have this, and you can't see it, it's off camera but I also have it connected to a uh, filtration system or a smoke eater that is also from Xtool. And you can see that I have this inside of my home. So what we're gonna do is gonna take a closer look at these two pieces right here because this is a riser that is used for a conveyor system. And then on the top is the P2. Let's take a closer look. Now, before taking a look at what's going on inside, I just wanna pop this open right here so you can see what's going on here. So this is basically the rising platform that allows you to feed long items into the uh, P2 uh, and it has a tray and what you're able to do is move the tray down as you have the conveyor system installed. We're going to have a subsequent video that's going to cover the use of that product but this is what I have here and this is uh, again our setup it's a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and close this uh, because we don't really have to go into this right now. Let's take a look at the P2 uh, the inside and some of the features. Now the P2 in the very top does have a clear view so that you can see what's going on inside of the laser and the doors lock automatically. So when you are engraving, it is locked to prevent um, any kind of harm that you may experience because of the gases that could be inside of the unit or also because of the laser itself as that could harm your eye. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because nothing is running. And then what you're gonna see is a couple things. Uh, first of all, you can see that it's well lit. This is one of the best lit systems that I have experienced. It is large, so this is gonna be able to engrave some very large items. If you look at from here to here, um, has uh, a great surface area for you to work with. And then as we can see what's going on inside, you'll see a little bit more about uh, some of the inner workings. But over there, you have your laser. And the thing about this laser, the CO2 laser, is that it is a, a laser head that goes up and down based on the surface that you're working on. And it is also capable of measuring the thickness of your products. So uh, there's a laser beam that's right now shooting from the corner and it's hitting uh, the actual uh, top here that you'll see in a second. And then also there's the laser that actually um, is, is taking place here inside of the, of the unit itself that is used for cutting. So let's take a closer look inside. Now, if you're used to one of the standard laser engravers, you may be familiar with honeycombs. This is using a different system, and this, in essence, is your honeycomb. 
it raises the products above so that as you're engraving, the, the flow of air on the very bottom will prevent excessive flaring. Uh, and I'll just show you what I did and why I have this open. So this piece right here, which is uh, something that we engraved a couple uh, minutes ago, basically was placed here. And you notice how that laser is there. So that laser is basically um, checking the actual distance um, or, or actually measuring the actual height of the product. And it's one of the calibrations that you're able to uh, kick off. Now, you'll notice also that I have this bowl. And this is not a flat surface. So we have reviewed products where you can engrave flat, but we've never re reviewed a product where it can actually uh, do an engraving. And you'll see this in the software as we go over it. But it's actually able to make a mesh of this area here. And then basically, this is not, you know, one height only, but it's a variety of heights because this is, again, handcrafted. So it's able to see all this stuff, and it's going to give you the ability to not only engrave in a flat surface, but you'll notice here in the corners, and you'll notice as I tilt this over on this side, it basically went through this, and it did a fantastic job. Now, this is a really, really deep cut, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this a little bit closer so you can see, so you can see how deep this is right here. All right, so we went in pretty deep. Um, this was a, our first trial, but I have to say that this looked fantastic. So you also then have here uh, some the mirrors right here that are for, um, for your laser as well. And uh, then what you have over here is actual the belt system that's going to move the laser head front and back. Now, I removed these slats, uh, and they come off really easy. I just want to show you this. They come out just like this, right? And then you can just remove them. I'm going to put this one back because we're still doing some testing. Uh, but the nice thing about this is that they're easy to remove. And then what you could do is you can adjust the height of the material uh, really, really easily. Now, you'll notice that you have a plug here. So this plug is used for your rotary. So if you have an R2 uh, rotary, you'll be able to plug it in here, put your cups here, and then it's going to rotate and that laser head is going to move and it's actually going to do uh, the cutting. Remember, this is a CO2 laser. So if you have used diodes before, the power settings, the learning curve, there's a slight one to it because... This is, again, this is over 50 watts, so it's more powerful. So 100% is not the same thing as if you were using a D1 uh, Pro, right? Uh, a 10, a 20, or even the, the latest version. So you have to make sure that you do material tests and you see how things are working. But again, uh, this gives you a lot of flexibility and, and great cutting power. Now, you also have two cameras. You have a camera here that basically is going to take the entire bed. And then you have a camera over here that you can basically get um, very close to the objects when you want to be able to have just a detailed view. Now, the cool thing about this laser engraver is also that you're going to have the ability to see the product. So you'll be able to lay off the graphic. Uh, there's no guesswork. And once you hit go, it's just going to go to that specific area and it's going to place the engraving exactly where you saw it on camera. Now, you'll also notice here that you have like these little shocks that are going to keep this open so you don't have to worry about this falling on your head. And then as soon as you close it, you have that audible beep letting you know that it's closed. Now remember, once you're running this laser, uh, what, what it will do is it will lock and it will not open um, until it's expelled all the fumes. So it has a, a safety feature and it's gonna take a couple seconds and then you'll hear the lock actually detach and then it opens up. Now on this side over here, you'll notice that we have um, the start button. It's a very simple display. There's nothing here to touch, nothing else happens. It's gonna tell you what the temperature is of the coolant that's running on the system. You'll see a progress bar basically indicating how much you have to go before you hit 100%. There's other um, icons that will show up based on um, you know, the type of work that you're doing and what you have connected. And then you have the locking mechanism telling you that the door is locked. Now on the side of the laser, you do have the emergency stop function so that you can come to it and, uh, and press that so that you can stop the laser. The door is locked, right? So this is the only way to stop it. You don't want to unplug it. You just want to push this. Now, keep in mind that you never want to leave a laser unattended. Um, it is cutting. It could create a fire hazard. So uh, something that you should watch and supervise, but this is what you can push in the event of an emergency. Now, right next to my favorite guy here, this is the little guy, but I like him a lot, right next to my F1, what you'll find here is you have your USB cable. This is what you connect to your PC or laptop. And keep in mind that you can connect to this wirelessly as well. So you can do wireless or you can connect physically. You also have a, uh, what is it, an Ethernet connection that you can use to connect this to the network if you want to do a manual connection. I have this one uh, connected Wi-Fi. It's easier for me to upgrade the firmware. 
Uh, but what I find is, especially when I'm doing curved surfaces like this one, when I'm gonna do a curved surface, that having a USB connection is the fastest way because it actually has to, you know, measure almost, you know, this one I think it was around 200 uh, positions to be able to come up with a great burn like this. So having it physically connected for me is much faster. Now, the very first thing that we did is we actually measured two points, the upper left point and the lower right point. And then we ran the actual um, mapping and you see the mapping taking place. Once this mapping is complete, it's going to result in a mesh, which you'll see next. So now the next thing we're going to do is look at, again, you have some model, model adjustment stuff that you can do here. You can see this is what the surface area looks like. And you can see that the cool thing about this is that the actual surface area is not perfect, right? It has various heights, the material. And this is what this pattern is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you kind of a view of the area that you could work with. So we're going to be putting in a graphic um, in this area. Uh, but so far, things look really good. So um, I was able to go back and see where this image is going to be burnt. Uh, simply by choosing uh, this map after I move the the actual image around. So this gives me a sense of where it's going to go. Now, one of the things I'm not seeing here, and I've seen other reviewers see this, is that I'm not able to bring up the image. I'd love to be able to see the image here, but I'm not able to see that. So, you know, the best thing I can do is just see what it looks like here based on the surface we've defined. All right, so now that we've started the engrave, you'll notice that the engraving is taking into account the actual curvature of the item that it's engraving. And this thing is doing extremely well. Now, I will say that the speed is slowed significantly when you're engraving this. So, so this is going to take a little bit more than an hour to engrave. All right, now let me show you how easy it is to engrave on some wood here. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is that uh, this is the camera in action. So you can, you can see the actual image that you're going to be engraving here on screen. And then you can see what I've imported. All I literally did is I did an image import, and this is an SVG. When I click on this image, you'll notice that it has engraving as uh, what we're looking for here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it all, group it, so you can see that it's an engraving. And one of the things that we'll need to do is just to make sure that things um, engrave on this nicely, we'll have to measure the actual thickness of the material. So I'm just going to target this area here, the actual laser head is going to move over. It's going to shoot a beam. And then it's going to come up with what that material thickness is. So you see how right there is set up. Now you'll notice that the image adjusted somewhat once it did that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this SVG, move it to where I want it to be. And, and I can put it right where I think that that looks good. So I think that that's going to look good right there. Now, that's all I'll have to do. Now, one of the things I will do is just to make sure that everything engraves easily and quickly is I am going to combine these. So I'm going to uh, subtract at overlap. Okay, so now this is one image now. So notice it doesn't have all those little elements. That way, as it's engraving, it's engraving like this. If not, it could go all over the place and it can take too long. So we'll go ahead and make sure that that's on engrave again, right? And we have a low power. That's what the uh, system is saying based on the thickness and the material. And it has a speed of 80. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, guys, so this is the final product. All we have to do is clean this up a bit and see how it turns out. So guys, that's the final product. Check that out. Cleaned up really nicely. Fantastic possibilities. Endless creativity with the P2 laser engraver from X-Tool. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.